The board also decided to defer the application of Quebec City. There is no doubt as to the passion for hockey, particularly NHL hockey in Quebec City. There is no doubt as to the suitability of the Videotron Center as a home arena for a team. And there is no doubt regarding the ownership credentials or the eagerness to own an NHL team of Quebec Corps, uh, which has been an outstanding league partner. These components, the ones within the control of the Quebec City applicant are first rate. And I want to thank former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney and Pierre Dion of Quebec Corps for the thoroughness of their application and their cooperation throughout this process. The decision to defer, however, was based on elements over which Quebec City, the Quebec City group, had no control whatsoever. Significantly, the fluctuation of the Canadian dollar throughout the process, including its decline to a low of 68 cents earlier this year, was a factor. Uh, in considering both applications for expansion, it was a priority of the board to create conditions that would place an incoming club or clubs in the best position to exceed on an expedited basis. Unfortunately, the state and volatility of the Canadian dollar undermined the achievement of that objective relative to the Quebec City bid. Moreover, the league's geographic imbalance with 16 teams already in the Eastern Conference and 14 now to be 15 teams in the Western Conference undermined the achievement of that objective relative to Quebec City's application as well. In addition, the board concluded that based on the process that will be used for stocking rosters, the best interest of the league and all teams would be served by limiting the number of incoming clubs to one at this juncture. And it is for all these reasons that the Quebec City application is being deferred.